Okay, I think I did it right this time. Um, we are going to go over how to order office supplies on staplesadvantage.com. First of all, um, the website is staplesadvantage.com. Make sure you don't just go to staples.com. There is a business side to staples and um, it will not let you log in if you go to the wrong website. So when you get there, it will look like this. Um, along this red bar at the top, there's the sign in button. You're going to click there. Our user ID is Jay Bryan. I believe it's four secretaries ago. When you hit next, it's going to ask for the account number. You're going to have to fill this in. It is 1653393, capital D E T. Our password is capital S, lowercase h C T C, 9193, exclamation mark. And then hit sign in. Every time you log in, it's going to ask for the current shipping location. You'll hit select. And then it's going to look like this. You can scroll down here and see what orders you've recently placed and when they're, you know, being processed or shipped or out for delivery or when they were delivered. Um, at the top here, there's a search bar. You can type in um, whatever you need to order. So we're going to order um, disposable coffee cups for the cured because I don't want you guys to have to worry about that this year. Let's see. Um, I'm going to get these ones because they come with the lids and that makes everybody's life easier. Um, there's a 50 pack, so that should be plenty. We're just gonna do add to cart. Um, one thing, do not be surprised by totals. Office supplies got very expensive, especially when you start ordering toner, which I think Dale may be ordering toner this year. I'm not 100% sure. So first of all, I'm gonna go in here and change this delivery address to Harriet's name. Since I will not be here and she knows where everything goes, she can put it all up. She is awesome. Um, you can scroll down and see everything you added to your cart um, before you actually hit place order. One tip I have that I started doing is when you have multiple items in your cart and they all go to different people, the packing slip note. Sometimes I'll put the name in for who it's for because when 10 people ask for 10 different things and it arrives and then I can't remember what goes to who um, or keep it written down somewhere at your desk until it's done and taken care of. So I'm gonna leave this blank for now because it's just going to Harriet, but if it was going to like Kurt, for example, I wanna put Kurt's name in there. So I remember quickly when it gets there that, okay, take this to Kurt. BO number for the 2021-2022 school year is 220086. And it will not change until next school year. Um, you'll have to put a blank PO in next summer. Um, also, make sure you guys restock um, after school is out this year so you use the remaining budget left um, in the account. So I'm going to hit submit order. And that's it. Um, you can always go click on the person and go to order history. And you can see everything that's been ordered. So this is Susan and Harriet's academic planner, planners. I ordered them. So it's partially out for delivery. So we might get one of them today. This is Dusty's bulletin board I ordered. Got it here yesterday. Um, another useful thing, especially when you're just restocking and you can't remember what kind of pins you got last year. You can go to frequently purchased um, and it's gonna show you things that we buy very often. Um, if you hit this little check box over here, it'll automatically add it to your cart. Well, well sorry, when you go back to the end and hit add to cart, but um, yeah, these are things that we order pretty often. So I think that is it. Um,